Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to more Gran Turismo 2. Boy, I haven't played this in a while. <laughs> Where did I leave off? I don't remember. Ah! Oh, that's right. I remember what I was going to do. It's time to base on some idiots with my legacies. Just sick of the crap. These fools will never know what hit them. Because this car is awesome. It's a station wagon of pain. I was really hoping my analogs were still working. Yeah! The grip! This thing is unreal! And there's James Bond. Goodbye, James Bond. Sorry that my station wagon has better grip and power than your stinking fish and chip eating friggin' Sports cars. It's a goddamn station wagon. I'm in the family truckster from frickin' National Lampoon's vacation. Ah, the grip in this thing is just unreal! I mean, I've always known the Super Legacy to be a good car, but jeez! This ain't even right. Look at this! practically faster than my darn Mustang. That's saying something. That's also quite pathetic. But I'll just see how far the Mustang had fallen by that time. Yeah, I know I didn't do that corner too good, but this is a bone stock legacy. It feels good to play this game again. It does. I was trying to make a downshift. It didn't work. Power break this thing into the corners. I like that. Don't lose its composure. Rally car, go! Haha, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> touch the gas. Ramp it up. Power break. Beautiful. Oh, I took that a little too wide. I hate that freaking corner. I think that one corner in this entire stage just thwarted me for years. Oh! I'll tell you this much though, this car does want the four wheel drift. Yeah, it was beautiful again! Raw speed coming out of there. Oh, they're catching up a bit. Okay, I'll give those sports cars a bit of credit. I think they got me beating the aero department. <laughs> yeah, suckers. Now I got the hill climb. Yeah, AI's pissed. AI's pissed. AI's pissed everyone. Oh, overcorrected. I'm good. I'm still good. I'm gonna just power break into this corner here. Like so. Power out of the corner. No. 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 Ha <laughs> ha! The rally car wins again. Now, what car was that that I was racing against? Chimera. Okay. I'm gonna go take a look at the Chimera. It does feel good to play this again. I need... I, I know this is in between Iron Man episodes, but I, I need to play this every once in a while just to kind of wash off the, the RPG boredom and the action game boredom and just do something that I'm good at. Seriously good at. Okay, we're going back to the UK. Where's TVO? Where's that friggin' Chimera? Okay, let's go with the most expensive Chimera. How much horsepower did that thing have? 319. Okay. Let me go check out the Legacy. 
This is why I say this freaking competition is bull cramps. My legacy wagon has 385. That car was out running me on the straights. With Impreza wagon. No, no, no. I'm not driving no Impreza wagon. That thing's garbage. Alright, so the UKs are done. So we got 385. Well, we got an Italy. Oh, jeez. Where's the Germans? Could probably do that one. Let's do that. I don't. I, I think I might just do this as kind of a quick one-off, uh, just to kind of get it out there, just to say, uh, let everybody know, you know, hey, I'm still wanting to play this. Just very just RPG-minded. Don't worry, Hulky. I'm, I'm going to be doing your your LP you requested me to do in time. Get out of the way, Porsche! Your Beatles are garbage. Fear the station wagon of pain. Now, oddly enough, the first car I ever drove was a station wagon. But it was only a front wheel drive, and it was a 1986 Ford Escort station wagon. Go ahead and laugh, but that car had character. It did. It was my late grandmother's. She bought it brand new, and like right after she bought it, she fell ill. I don't even think she put 5,000 miles on it. And then pretty much a couple years after that, she passed away. And so we just took the car, and it became our family car for the longest time. And it was a nice little car. It had good interior. You know, everything worked on it. We basically replaced everything on it. We just kept it going. And we put dang near 2,000, 200,000 miles on it. I got it about 5,000 miles from 200,000 and then I was just like, I, I need a new car. I drove it for a year. It had absolutely zero shock absorbers left on it. And I mean, when I say zero shock absorbers, I mean it had no shock absorbers. Oh man, I'm gonna be pretty straight. Yep, yeah, here they come. Give me a boost. Come on, there we go. But, just so much fun to drive. You'd think a car with no power would be boring to drive. That one wasn't. But everything worked on it. Uh, it was just a fun little car. I mean... It didn't handle worth a dang. But, uh... You know, just, you had to drive a little slower with it. Because it was just old. It was as old as I was. So. I do kind of miss... I, I miss every car I don't own anymore. I do. I, it's, I mean, you know, you form a connection with it. And it gets you from point A to point B. And you have fun in them. And, I mean, the one car I miss the most is the Pro. I, I, I just... I wish I could never got rid of that thing. It's such... Just an amazingly made car. Never had a lick of trouble out of it. Beautiful car. I don't care anybody says. I know the name sucks. And if you want me to, I can call it by its Japanese name, the Laser. That's a cool name for a car. Laser. It was like a shark with a freaking laser beam attached to its freaking head. There you are, Germany. Thwarted by the Japanese. But, uh. Just cool stuff. I mean. I had fun. You know, I had fun with every car I owned. I miss my Cobra because the only reason I really miss my Cobra is because of the V8. I mean, that that is the 4.6 Ford V8. I'm sorry, that thing is just sounds. No, dang it! That thing just sounds like perfection. I have yet to hear a V8 sound better than that one. I've heard a few. Uh, the Jaguar Eagle remake. That <laughs> that is something. Okay, so we need a car with 295 horsepower. Let's dig through our garage, shall we? I don't even know what I have. Did I upgrade this thing at all? No. Well, that might do it. No. Definitely not this. Oh, that's a 353. I should be using that. But I wanted to just humiliate those other ones. GTR, four-door tuned. 
Hey, hey, but that's a very bright yellow car. So we got that one I can use. With the speed six. Oh, no, it's too much. The Stratos. No, it's too much. The uh, Europa? No, that's too little. XYR, what the frig is that? Celica. Ugh. Uh. Oh, the Integrale. Yeah. ZZ3? Hmm. I might have to use that for some of those other ones. Uh. This has got 303, I think. 302. Okay. Sorry, I can't use that one. Uh. <laughs> no, nah, because I upgraded this thing. Look at that. Ah! What about my Cobra race car? Where's that? No, it's a 388. My Escort rally car is a 460. Um, Super Bird, how much you got? Oh, uh, no. I think crap. I remember I tuned out. Oh, God, I wasted money on that stupid thing. No, that's kind of five, yeah. <laughs> the turd. Oh, my Camaro. Yeah, let's run the Camaro. Let's run our Camaro. Shows the car is worse than the Mustang. Can be useful for something. So let's go. Now, this is the Z28 Camaro. It's supposed to have a handling package on it. It better not suck. Because I like my 68 Z28 Camaro. Oh, and Rain Dragon, I don't know if you're ever going to see this, but uh, here you go, buddy. Your old Camaro. This is a V6, but hey, who's, who's complaining? And it's not the same color, it's not that teal, teal green. Hmm. Sounds like the old 350. Okay, this car is actually quite responsive. It's actually handling pretty decent. I kind of like it. The Camaro was the handling muscle car. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh, there it goes. There's that girthy weight catching up to it. Oh, yeah, now it's driving like a car I like. But, yeah, these are the, what, what we affectionately call the lawn dart Camaros. Because they got, they just look like a dart. I don't know what the heck Chevy was thinking, GM was thinking when I went, let's make it a sport, a muscle car, but let's give it sports car aerodynamics. Like, no, that's not how it works when you make a muscle car, geniuses. I mean, this thing is hideous compared to the old ones. And Chevy owners complained about the late 90s F-150s looking like a bubble. This thing looks like a cheese wedge. I actually saw one of these cars, uh, it was about a year or two ago, I was going to visit Cephi, and I saw this very car. It was this model, this 30th anniversary Z28, and it was right outside Evansville, Kentucky. It's heading north to Indianapolis, and the douchebag was driving slow in the left lane and then cut me off in the right lane. So I scared about, I scared rush hour traffic because I violently passed this person and I used violently as, as the most subdued way of putting it and they stayed about six car lengths back from this car or from my car and everybody else, I'm talking 18 wheelers and everything, stayed about nine car lengths back from this car even because they thought that I had some road rage and yes I did because every time I've ever driven through Evansville, Kentucky Someone tries to run me off the road. It's happened three times. Thing near happened once in the rain, and that was on the way back from the same trip. And then the first time was when this piece of this piece of garbage driving this car tried to cut me off because they're too stupid to look in their freaking mirrors and driving slow in the left lane. They could have just let me by and then got over, but no, they had to cut in front of me. So, that could have ended poorly for them.
Yeah, I like this car. Didn't say I didn't like the car, I, the idiot. I don't like, didn't like the idiot driving it. So. Eh, it's a Camaro. It's kind of suppressed in its power, but it handles okay. Good enough for a first place finish. Now I'm going to smack the Italians around with it. So at least I'm getting some uses out of these cars. The only thing I, I, I like about Gran Turismo 3 over this game, and 4, is the fact that it has an odometer on your car. So you can see how long you've been driving them. And I think they had some kind of goofy thing in that game where if you drove a thousand miles in a car, it gained a horsepower. I, I, I don't hold me to that, but I think I remembered a car doing that. Like, I drove a thousand miles because I used to just sit on these Gran Turismo games forever. And when I say sit on forever, this was the game that... Oh, I put way too much time into this one. And I'm glad some of you guys were still shocked about the Mark Martin NASCAR because I found that completely by accident. But I mean, seriously, who would buy a Ford Taurus in this game? <laughs> the reason why I bought it is because we owned a Mercury Sable at the time, which is the Mercury version of the Ford Taurus. For those of you across the pond. Or just didn't know. But yeah, we had a Mercury Sable. That was a nice little car we had. We had it for a long time. I had my first wreck in it, but... Wreck wasn't my fault. Never had a wreck that was my fault. And, uh... It's a good little car. You drove the heck out of that. My mom drove that thing until we just had to retire it. And we sold it for a decent amount of money. But it was a quiet car. Oh, jeez. His Mercury was kind of like a sub-luxury line for Ford. And they just added a few luxury com creature comforts to a car. And then Lincoln's like the whole full-blown luxury line of a Ford. So it's... I, I, I understand why they finally cut off the Mercury line, but they should have gave a revamp to Cougar a chance. Because they had a concept of one drawn up, and it looked like the one that's in this game, the old XR9, or XR7. And it looked cool. And people were like, hey, that looks like a cool looking Mercury, like the way Mercury's used to be, where they were kind of cool. And they just didn't do it anymore. So, that's a thing. Just like GM, 86 and the freaking Trans Am that they were thinking about doing before they cut Pontiac off. But seriously, I bought a Mustang, okay, because it looks like my dad's old Mustang. Had they built that new retro Trans Am, which people, there is a resto mod kit, well not a resto mod, but a mod kit for the new Camaros to turn new Camaros into Trans Ams, the Trans Am, uh, concept that they had come up with uh, they have kits for it. You can turn every aspect of your new Camaro into a Trans Am. The one that they were thinking about doing. With the T-top, it looks like the Bandit from Smokey and the Bandit. You know, it's it's an amazing car. I would have just said shut up and take my money. That would be the car I'd be driving around in because that's a freaking awesome car. I've always loved a Trans Am, but GM and all their stupidity go, no, we need to buy build a roadster with Pontiac and compete with the Miata. And this should make it half, just a half done attempt to compete with the Miata. Yeah, because that's what people think about when they think Pontiac. I'm sorry, when I think Pontiac, I think performance. Like serious, raw power and performance. That's supposed to be the performance line. And they turned it into just a test bed platform for freaking Chevy cars. Pathetic. Shame on you, GM. Every time you get something right, you cancel it. I'm not saying Ford doesn't. Jeez. Alright, so we've shown off our Camaro. Cool, we got, what, two more to go? No, three. 
two? No, two. We got two. All right, we got a little time. We got a little time. Let's see what we got next. 197 horsepower. And 216. Okay, we're going to get that ZZ3. Whoops! Wrong menu. Zip dip doo, zippity doo. Nope, not that. Zip dip dip dip, zippity doo. Zip dip dip. There we go. We haven't driven this yet. So it'll be good for both of those challenges because this thing's a freaking stupidly lightweight sports car. So let's do it. I'd be just scared to death to take some piece of crap American car out of this because, or even any of their own cars, because I've just I've noticed how much the AI cheats on this. Ooh, this thing's got some RPMs on it. Look at these cars! Oh, they're terrible! Oh, that white smoke! Oh, this thing's got no clutch. But oh, I'm oh, this is pathetic. Oh, there's an Alpha. No, not the Alpha. Oh, this thing is great. It's so low slung. Oh, good, it's a short run. Yeah, this car's pretty good. I can definitely see if you tune on it. It has some great potential. I mean, the... the Jeez, the, gear, the gearing in this thing is way too high. Yeah, the gearing in this car is way too high for what kind of car it is. But I love the handling. Oh, it is so planted. I mean, I feel confident turning this thing into every corner. Too bad I can't hook up my Gran Turismo 3 with... Hey, 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 what, what, what? Oh, crap. I set that up again. Well, there's a control I need to go fix. Ah! Eep! video on a high note. I've, I've done very well. Unlike my last video. I remember the last video I did. I know it's been a while, but I remember that last video. Woof. I, think, I mean, you, you understand why I took such a long break after that last time. I couldn't win a race to save my life. The game was just flat cheating. You gonna cheat me, I'm gonna cheat you back. Booyah, I'm not gonna use your country's cars. I'm trying to do it legit. The game doesn't want you to do it legit. Hates you. It's hateful. Oh, I'll set that control up again. One more, and we're finally done with this initial Grand Turismo League crap catastrophe. All right, let's go defeat the Germans. Full the deep forest. This will be easy with this car because this car handles it good. Very low center of gravity. Not quite as much front grip as I would like. And the gear ratios are off, but overall, this car. Oh, God, there's beetles. New beetles! Ew! Get that thing away from me! It's hideous! Oh gosh, that thing is just terrible! BMWs. That looks like a golf. No, that's not a Is that a four door? That's a four door golf. Okay, car, I was praising your handling. Yeah, it needs more front grip. It really does. No, that's a BMW. It's a BMW wagon! What are you doing here, man? Oh, I see why they got us in deep forces. This is supposed to resemble the Nurburgring. And it doesn't. Come on! Oh! This is grass for grip. Yeah, 
Yes! Go! Go! Huzzah! Come on! Oh god, that was lap one. This is taking forever. Oh, this little car is just straining to get over 120 miles an hour. Jeez. Even downhill is just like, I can't do it. Crap. It doesn't have enough power to spin itself out in the dirt. Who set up the suspension on this thing? You did so well with the design and the concept. It's got grip, mountains of grip in this thing, and it just it's all in the rear wheels. It just handles so poorly. It just needs to be loosened up a bit. I, mean, I can see where the shocks are just so soft in the back. Takes away from the front end's grip. Oh, the Beatles catching. The Beatles beating everyone. How does the Beatles beat everyone? The Beatles sucks. I should say the new Beatles. It sucks. Herbie's awesome. The new Beatles freaking just a crap catastrophe. There's no other word for it. It's crap tastic. Hold the throttle! Go, go, go! Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Alright. So we, we haven't gotten any new cars, but I showed off some other cars I haven't driven. It's a new Beetle! It's a Beetle. Alright, so no new cars won, but we got some money. We got some things done. So anyways, guys. Oh, no. We're, do we're doing slot one. That's right. Next time. On Let's Play Grand Turismo 2. We'll move up to the next league. I may do an endurance race. I don't know. I'm just letting you know. I'm still playing it. Just not that much. So. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one. Later, guys.